Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today, we will have a look at the lost marble puzzle. And today, I also would like to try something new based on many requests I had in my comments. I would like to do uh, or to try to do a blind solve of this puzzle, solving it without mm, do not knowing it, how to do it, and um, let you know my approach, how I how I'm trying to do it. Therefore, it's still unboxed. I will just cut it open. Let me get a pair of scissors. So I will just cut it open here. And here. And let's have a look inside. So the puzzle itself is manufactured by the company Philos, which is a German company. And it only contains this wooden piece here. Also, there is, seems to be the solution inside here, but we will not have a look at this right now. So, um, yeah, there's actually not much we can do here. I hear that there, that there is something inside. In this box, probably a marble. This is why this puzzle is called the lost marble. <laughs> and it's made from wood, from a solid piece of wood. And Obviously, the marble is able to move inside, but it's not able to get out, of course. Okay, how to solve this one? Well, first thing I would start with is to look on this at this puzzle on very detail. As I mentioned, it is made from a solid piece of wood. That's a very imp uh, important fact since it limits or it gives us, it limits a lot of the possibilities how the labyrinth here inside could look like. Also, we notice it has one hole over here and no other entrance or exit. And then we have something in addition. And these are here, these four circles. Maybe, you, no, only four. And these four circles are probably also drill holes. And these five drill holes, this one, this, this, this one and this, probably create the maze inside. Because there is no other possibility here to, to create a maze inside, since it's a solid piece. What to do next? Well, I could try to do it randomly, but I would like to think about now how the maze could look like. Well, let me just get a, a piece of paper. And what I w would like to do now is, or try to do, is I gonna think about how it could look like considering all of these informations we have. So it's a solid piece of wood. Well, and let's paint here a square out of it. Okay, so what do we know? We know there is a hole here inside and let me just see if I look inside. You probably cannot see it here from the video, but when I look inside here, the hole is round about that deep. So it means it ends where this one be begins or we, let's say they hit, they, they interfere each other. So it means we have one hole here on the top, the middle one, and we have two more holes beside this one. So one here and the other one here. And then we have the same here on the side. So we have one hole here and one hole over here. So I draw now the possible Drill holes. I do not know right now how deep they are. Therefore, I just do them like this. 
as deep as possible, but not until the other side, because on the other side there is no hole visible. So they, are, looks, they look somehow like this, probably. But I don't know in detail. And then we have the drill, drill holes from the top, which could be like this, like this, and let's say like this, because they also do not reach until the backside. There are no holes here. Okay, and then we have one in the middle, which interferes with this one here but not more, because we can measure it just with the pen. Okay, so now let, let's see. When I move the, the labyrinth here, the ball can move. I can feel that the ball is somewhere in this area, not up here, which also would make no sense. So it can move. It is very likely I think that it moves in this area. Means if this would be really be the case that they are deeper here, the ball could not move left to right. Therefore I can cut this out and this is solid here. So the ball is somewhere down here moving here left to right. When I turn it to this side there's no movement. So I can consider that this one is also solid from my point of view. So the channel, channel here will end up somewhere up here. Means this is all solid as well. And the only way to get out is one side. So. When I turn it to the other side, yep, it can roll up and down somewhere here. So this is also solid. Here in between is solid. So there are not many possibilities left actually, because when I roll like this, I can hear it's going from here to here to here to here. So the channel stops probably somewhere it goes up and down it cannot go to the top so but it can also go not inside so it, if the if this channel would stop here it would be able to get the ball here and over here but it's actually it's moving over here and then it stops but it will not go to the inside so there must be it must be also solid here something like this And actually to my theory now, when I move the ball, when I move the ball up here and jump up over here, it should be able to get out. So I turn it a little bit like this. No. Ah, I, th I thought it I jumped all the way up again to here. Let's try it again. But from my point of view, that's the only possibility to get it out. Yeah, and we got it. Here is the marble, the marble. And that's it actually. So, but what about, what I do not understand is, why are they, why they, ah, okay, okay. Yeah, we were absolutely right. There is also, also if I just turn it around, like from here, where it can move up and down, turn it around, it falls through here on this side and is moving here in this area, but can also not get out. So, as you can hear, now it's over here, but I need to go in the middle. So, when I turn it around, it passes from here to here without going out it's kind of tricky and um, now it's on the other side and now yeah I can get it out again when I'm here 
I just make a jump over here and go out again. I think this is a little bit, maybe a little bit different that it's also like this. So that it can go here or here without going here. So I need to, if I, if I just give it a little kick, it will also jump here and get out here. Same here. Okay, so, well, that was, that was pretty easy. You see, if I would have started now to try and try and move, I probably would also be able to get it out after a while. But I think this one is the better way and the easier way and also the better way, let's say, the better challenge to think about this, to understand better how the parts, or how the, the maze inside looks. So actually this here is our maze now. This is our maze and um, it, uh, it must look something Thing like this over here Let's see must look something like this I think and let's now have a look in the solution of this puzzle if it looks the same and let's see yeah yeah actually our solution here looks better than this one because this one are only the drill holes which are blocked here and here, so it cannot get out. This, ah yeah, this one was wrong, I painted here. So it's only these three here in the top, one exit, and the one on the bottom. So it's exactly what we imagined. Okay, so I hope you like this episode. It's something else as, as before, uh, as, the, as the usual uh, reviews, but um, it was requested by you, so I did it. I hope you like it. You can give me your feedback in the comments if you like it or if you would like to see more stuff like that. Um, my difficulty rating of this one would be a, uh, let's say, a two out of five. If you would not do this, it can take you, uh, if you do not do this, it can take you a long time to solve it, maybe, if you're unlucky and make the wrong movements. Um, I put you the link in the description where you can buy this one if I find it. And um, if you like this episode, interested to see more, as mentioned, just let me know in the comments. I would appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel. And as always, if you have any questions, complaints, wishes, ideas that I could um, help you with, let me know in the comments. And until next time, keep on puzzling. <laughs>